Hello Internet! Ako po si Manny Villoria ng Swamazing.com. Tara, mag-online business na tayo. Recently, merong nag-invite sa akin na mag-join sa isang campaign to promote different real estate projects. Tapos nung nag-inquire po tayo, narinig ko yung name, Luterio Realty. Sabi ko, bakit parang familiar yung Luterio Realty? Ah, biglang naalala ko na a few years ago, meron akong nakitang profile info sa friend ko dito sa Facebook. Maksod doon, Luterio Realty. So, about two or three years ago, pinuntahan ko, hinanap ko yung kanilang Facebook page, yung kanilang website, at doon ko nakita na ang binibenta nila mga produkto, mga properties, ay nasa Cebu and Davao. So, sabi ko noong time na yon three years ago, or two years ago, Cebu, Davao. Eh, nandito ako sa Metro Manila. Paano ko naman maibebenta yung property ng Cebu at Davao? Hindi na ako makakapunta doon na for side tripping, busy ako dito. So, hindi ko pinansin. Fast forward to year 2020, eto na naman. Meron nag-invite. So, sabi ko, sige, I will listen and see what's new. Okay? Mabuti na lang. I decided to watch the presentation. Mabuti na lang, I gave about two hours of our time for the presentation at isishare ko sa iyo today kung ano yung kakaibang na discovery ko sa presentation na yun. In the meantime, good morning, bro Roger. Thank you for joining us. Ito yun, no? Difference number one. Yung speaker, napansin ko, he has kind eyes. I've go, wow, this is the first time I've met a webinar presenter. Nang bite-bite ng mata, sabi ko. Doon pa lang, sabi ko. Hmm. Most of the webinar presenters I've seen is a typical extrovert. Uh, nan, nan, nan. Pero itong nakita kong presenter, very kind eyes. Sabi ko, sige. Difference number two. Sinabi niya na wag mag-bathroom break. Wag mag-CCR. Sabi ko, ha? Ah? Kakaiba itong speaker na ito. Yung mga iba sinasabi, the usual, patay mo muna yung cellphone mo, huwag ka muna mag-open ng mga ibang browser windows, ihanda mo yung papel at pen to take down notes. Pero itong speaker na ito, si Sir Tonton, sinabi niya, huwag ka muna mag-CR break kasi baka meron kang mamiss na mahalaga. Ngayon, kapag ka nag, nanood ka na isang 1 hour, 40 minute to 2 hour presentation, syempre, ang makukuha mong take away, ang mangingibabaw para sa'yo ay posibleng iba sa mangingibabaw para sa akin. So, isi-share ko sa'yo this morning kung ano yung nangibabaw doon sa presentation na yun. Doon ko nalaman na si Sir Tonton, he considers himself a squatter. Bakit squatter? Kasi bata pa lang siya, naulila na siya in a sense. When he was nine, his mom passed away. When he was 10, his father left. Kaya squatters in the sense na palipat-lipat siya ng bahay. Minsan nasa bahay siya ng kanyang tita. Minsan doon siya sa bahay ng kanyang lolo at lola. Wala siyang sariling tahanan na matatawag niya yung talagang kanyang direct family. And he would pray every day and cry every day and eat cup noodles every day. At yung kanyang dinarasal ay, bakit po ganito? Nagsisimba naman ako. I pray. I work hard. And yet, hindi ako umaasenso. Parang tinitinan niya yung ibang tao, umaasenso. Kahit hindi naman nagdadasal, hindi naman ganun kasipag. And yet, bakit sila? May kotse. Bakit sila? Nakakapag-travel. Bakit ako? Ganito lang. So, dahil dun sa kanyang paghihirap, I can imagine, no? or I, I can't imagine how it would be to be 10 years old and then in that situation na wala, kawawa ka, wala kang parents. So, nagsumikap siya. He joined a direct selling company. Hindi niya binigay detalye ito sa direct selling company na yon. Doon siya kumita ng milyong-milyong piso. Tapos, so how na yung milyong-milyong piso, sinabi niya, anong magagawa ko din sa mga milyong-milyong piso na ito? So, he looked around at ito yung napansin niya, yung mga mayayaman sa Pilipinas, nasa mundo ng real estate. 
Yes, maraming mga successful sa pagbebenta ng food, beverage, services, clothes, retail. Pero yung talagang malakihang kitaan nasa mundo ng real estate. So, doon sa kanyang milyon-milyon, in-invest niya ito sa pagbili ng mga properties at sinubukan niya mag-real estate. Ikaw ba, nagpupunta ka sa mall, nakakita ka ng mga nag-aabot ng flyer, tanong ko sa'yo, ano ang nararamdaman mo kapag may nag-aabot sa'yo, may nag-aalok sa'yo ng flyer? Ma'am, sir, property, bili po kayo, house and Ma'am, sir, kondo, anong nararamdaman mo pagka nakita ka ng ahente? Anong nararamdaman mo pagka naririnig mo yung salitang ahente? Tinatanong ko yan sa'yo. Kasi may connection yan dun sa nakita ko yung lumutang talaga yung nangibabaw dun sa presentation na iyon. Before we continue, good morning, bro Roger. Good morning, bro Lope. Thanks for joining us. Ako, Pagka nakakita ko ng mga ahente sa mall, nasabi ko, wow, sipag ni Lolo. Or, wow, sipag ni Lola. Or, sipag naman itong si Iha. Batang-bata, tapos, flyer, flyer, flyer. Pero hindi ko kayang gawin yan. Ayoko mag-abot ng flyer. Ayoko mag-saturation drive. Ayoko mag-house to house. Ganon din yung shinair ni Sir Tonton. Eh, ni-reveal niya na computer engineering bar, computer science, yung IT, yung kanyang background, Kaya inisip ni Sir Tonton na gumawa ng system kung saan makapagbenta siya ng real estate na hindi na niya kailangan mag-abot ng flyer. So here is a man who is hungry for success and who wants to build a system. Does that sound familiar? Isipin mo yung ating SWA Ultimate, mga OPT, Online Prosperity Training, sina Edward Reformina, Francis Chavez. Di ba nagsiset up sila ng system? Kasi ako, hmm, system. Magsaksid kaya tayo dito? Tapos, in between the uh, presentations, merong isang testimonial or video clip ng kanilang uh, national convention. Tapos, yung isang nagsalita doon, Andy Manyalak. Andy Manyalak. He was involved in several real estate companies, ano ba yun? Century Properties, Robinson's Land, talagang kilala siya sa mundo ng real estate. And he was thanking Tonton Luter Anthony Luterio. Tapos, ito na yung part na nangibabaw sa akin. Naluluha siya. Project Director, VP, SVP of various well-known property companies, naluluha siya. Bakit? Sinabi niya na, he wants to make people proud of you. Isang ahente. Kasi siya rin ahente. At doon ko na-realize na, this journey of success is a journey pala of finding acceptance. It is a very basic human need. Ang gusto ng ahente, pag tinignan siya ng mga kamag-anak niya, eh proud ang kamag-anak niya, ang pamilya niya, sa kanya. Hindi yung mm, ahente. Di ba? Ikaw, be honest with yourself. Kapag uh, nakita ka ng ahente, do you say, wow, it's such a glamorous job. I want to become an agent. I want to sell property. Ako, hindi. Kinasabi ko, uy, magbibilad ako sa araw. And yet today, sa panahon ng pandemya, maraming mga successful na real estate salespeople na nagbebenta from their house. Thanks to the system of Sir Tonton. Thanks to the internet. Thanks to websites. Naisama niya lahat ng maraming properties in one place. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng information, mag-login ka lang. You find the information. Whether you're in Cebu, Davao, Metro Manila, Tugegarao, it doesn't matter kasi all the information is in one place. Tapos yung ahente, kapag ka kinausap siya nung OFW na buyer, naibibigay niya yung information ng mas mabilis. Kaya yung mga iba, pinagtuunan nila na one year, nakapag-ipon sila ng 1 million pesos. Wow, psycho. 
Eh, parang affiliate marketing yan. May website, may information, may mga tao makakausap mo without meeting them personally. Ang difference lang, 1 million in one year. Ang bentahan mo doon, at least 1 million peso property. Yung isa nga, nagbenta, 11 million pesos na property. Sabi ko, amazing yun ah. And here is Mr. Tonton, who made it possible and who gives training. And here's the kicker. He gives training for free. If you want to learn, you can avail of the training for free. Kaya yung mga nag worry na, Naku, recruitment yan. Naghakot ka ng tao. Naku, may SEC advisory ka. Ito, ito no. Hindi po ako abogado. Pero yung isang major, yung number one requirement sa Howey test para sabihin ng, mang, ng SEC na investment contract yan, ay naglabas ka ng pera. Pero sa case itong real estate training, wala ka nilalabas na pera eh. The training is free. Kaya I'm not worried na ma eh, SEC advisory ito. Real estate, may partnership with what? At least 530 property developers. May pangalan, may credibilidad. And did I mention, libre ang training. Kasi nung isang araw, narinig ko yung hinaing nung isang fellow platinum member ko na naglabas siya ng pera, malaking pera, 100,000. Wala nangyari, wala siyang kinita. Pwede bang mag-refund? Eh, sinabi ko, eh, gamitin mo yung training mo dun sa platinum, titanium, i-apply mo siya sa mundo ng real estate. Ang sinabi niya, real estate, wala akong alam dyan. Eh, kaya nga may training eh. So, I invite you to look around, talk to your friends, and ask them, uy, paano ba mag-avail ng libreng training sa real estate? Paano ba maging ahente? Try mo yon. Who else are here? Before we continue, good morning, Vincent. Thanks for joining us. Oh, see, si Bro Roger. Sabi niya, bilib ako sa kanila, bro. Yeah, the real estate sales world is changing. Kasi yung mga gone are the days na mag maghapong kang naka, naghihintay sa site, tapos na nag-aalala pa kung nasaan yung CR dito. Di ba? Ang layo-layo ng container van kung nasaan yung yung paliguran. So, parang ayaw mo na maglakad ng gano'n. Diba? Iba na ngayon. It's all online and the buyers are willing to not always insist na pumunta, ka, pumunta sila sa site. Diba? You can do online virtual tours. Kasi, may mga tao na nagmawa ng system to make that possible. And the system is free to use. Yun nga lang, there are certain requirements. Like, if you want to become a real estate salesperson, dapat meron kang at least two years of college. So, kung wala ka pang at least two years of college, gawan mo ng paraan. Kung sa stock market, ang isang requirement doon ay yung TIN, Tax Identification Number. Kung wala kang TIN, gawan mo ng paraan. Ngayon, kung talagang wala kang magawang paraan for yourself, eh, maghanap ka ng kamag-anak, trusted friend, who can do it for you. Magpapasalamat siya sa'yo na you made him or her aware na meron palang mundong ganito. So, the second thing na nangibabaw doon sa inattend ang kong webinar ay two words dream big nakita ko yung mga tao doon umiyak sila kasi never in their wildest dreams na imagine nila na oh, 2 million a month may mga taong ganun I'm not saying na ikaw automatically mag-training ka lang and then within a year you'll reach the 2 million pesos a month in commissions hindi but what I'm telling you is to dream big you have to be aware na meron palang mundong ganun Kasi kapag hindi ka aware na meron mundong ganun, how will you even imagine na tumungo dun sa direction na yun? Kaya guys, sinabi ni Sir Tonton, kung alam lang niya na ganito kalaki yung real estate, dapat nung simula, nung mas maaga pa, ginawa na niya. Pero syempre, the best time to take action is today. Yan. Zip Zappy, thanks for joining us. Ken, Ken Rick, hello. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for the kind welcome to Filipino Homes. Oh, yun, alam mo na. Filipino Homes. Search mo. They're all over the the internet. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, if you want to join, contact any Filipino home. Okay. What else did I you know, discover? Meron mga GCs. And in the GCs, may 
meron dun mga exchange na information that will help you answer the inquiries of your customer quickly. Ganyan sa mundo ngayon ng real estate. The ability to answer questions quickly. You have two choices. You can answer the questions live, meaning, sige, mag-abang ka eh. Yung mga OFW, nag-inquire yan, mga starting 11pm, mag-abang ka. Magpuyat ka. There are people who work well under that arrangement. That's approach number one. Approach number two is to use videos. Yung videos, para kahit tulog ka, o kapag tinatamad, kahit nagbabakasyon ka, yung videos mo, gumagana. At yun yung na-discover natin, nakita natin mga pangalan ng mga magagaling sa mundo ng real estate. Nakita natin mga YouTube channel, pinapanood natin yung mga videos, at doon tayo nag-isip na, wow, anong ginamit niya para gumawa ng video na ganun? So that is another technical journey naman. Anong editor ang ginamit niya para maglagay ng transition or yung gumagalaw ng mga bilog na yon in between certain scenes? Yung ginagawa ng iba, they will, in effect, read the brochure. They'll say na it has so many bedrooms, so many bathrooms. Nasabi nagsasalita sila, yung sa likod nila, may magandang video or pictures na gumagalaw or yung video talaga na galing naman sa property developer. Inedit nila. So, sabi, ah, Ganun pala yung mga ibang unit manager sa mundo ng real estate. They have to gain video editing skills. Yung ibang manager naman, they talk. They give tips for real estate salespeople. Ah, ganun pala yung preference niya. Ah, gusto niya magturo para ma-build niya yung kanyang team para mas maraming tao ang nagpro-promote ng what, 1,200 property listings? Hindi ka talaga maabusan, unlike yung traditional na real estate. Kunwari, taga-pasig ka. Pagka naubos mo na yung property sa area mo, wala na. Ano, ano pa bang gagawin mo? Uh, pupunta ka sa Cavite para magbenta doon. Pero ngayon, you have the ability to offer over a 1,000 properties from the comfort of your own home. That is a true game changer, especially in the time of COVID, di ba? So, think about it, no? When you make a video, do it, create the video on a weekend. Tapos, i-upload mo. Tapos, yun, yun na yung bahalang mag-explain sa mga potential buyers o sa mga potential real estate sales team members mo. Di ba? It's so flexible. So, if you're not naman into making videos, eh, di do the social media route. Magpo-post ka sa timeline mo ng mga property photos, wait for the inquiry, and learn also paid advertising. Yung mga ibang nakikita ko dyan, eh, like Facebook paid ads, just be aware na parang stock market ito. Do not expect na kapag uh, isang katutak na ads ang inilabas mo, isang eh, katutak na inquiries din. Hindi. Ang lumalabas kasi sa mundo ng real estate, and this you have to be aware of, yung yung uh, noticeability factor, yung interaction, yung engagement, ay eh, mababa lang. Kaya pagka naglabas ka ng ganito karaming ads, yung mag-inquire sa'yo, ay eh, konti lang. Dapat kaya yan ang puso mo. Pero hey, kahit konti nag-inquire sa'yo, there's a potential for you to sell a 40 million peso property. Malaking bagay yun versus when you want to sell a 3,000 peso product. ba? So, meron pros and cons babalansin mo yun. Ang isang tip lang is for you to just try this journey for one year. Just try it. You don't have to do it full time. And in the process after that one year, you should have made at least at least one sale. And during that one year, you would have met a lot of people online. You would have learned from a lot of mentors. You would have discovered on your own skills in the field of video editing, Facebook paid advertising, and storytelling, communication, leadership, and you can learn all of those for free. Ano yung hindi free? Well, when you invest in your tools, invest in your phone or your computer to make videos, you invest in video editing software, and most important of all, you invest your time to learn. Kasi may iba very um, impatient, like me, when I watch videos, in nalalagay na 2x, 2 times the speed. Kasi gusto ko marinig yung buong video in half the time, di ba? 
naka-earphone sa kora, gumagaling speaker, binabasa ko na lang subtitles. Ano ba? Ano ba yung point mo? And then I learned na you have to also learn patience. Kasi, trinay ko, no? Sabi ko, wow! Si Sir Edward. When did I last hear Sir Edward? Ah, he gave a presentation years ago when I tried to prepare for the real estate broker's exam. No, hindi pa required yung uh, four-year course in real estate management. Yung sa DTI lang. And he's still teaching. So I listened to him at two times the speed. Rest up. And then I tried listening to him at normal speed. So again, yeah, let us learn to be mindful. Let us learn to take things at a normal pace. And when I watched his video at a normal speed, parang may mga ibang nasagap tayo the way he speaks, ano yung punto niya, ano yung hindi niya sinasabi, pero nasa-sense mo. Yun. <clears throat> so in your one year, I challenge you, no? in your one year real estate journey, you will learn many things, plus you should have at least one sale. Okay? So that is something you can look forward to in the coming months. Ngayon, kung ang pangangailangan mo ay super pressing and you want to adopt a short-term attitude, that's perfectly fine. You can also do the selling, selling, selling route. You can do the post all the properties and hope that someone will see your paid ads. You can also try that. Ako personally, I prefer a hybrid para stock market. Meron akong short-term strategy, meron akong long-term. Tapos tingnan natin kung anong magiging resulta nito. Good question from Bro Roger. Need a license from PRC? Yes, you need to be an accredited real estate salesperson. May kailangan ng NBI clearance. Siyempre sa ngayon, may mga issue on health and safety and COVID. Kaya to follow na lang yung NBI clearance. Okay? So, like right now, I'm not actively selling no? as a real estate salesperson kasi I'm working on the NBI clearance and on the... Uh, I'm still in, in study mode. I have to study para kapag uh, may quiz. What, sa case ng Reza Law, yung mga real estate salesperson are not required to take an exam. Pero dun sa online training system ni Sir Tonton, meron kang certificate para naman meron kang uh, basis for saying na at least nag-invest ka ng panahon to understand the industry better. At kapag ginawa mo yun, Yung mga future buyers mo, they will sense it, they will see it, lalo na if you talk about it online. And they will want to work with you. Okay? So you'll also have the guidance of a real estate broker para you can follow the steps and make sure everything is legal. So yes, you will need documentation from the PRC. Some property developers will help you get it. I can imagine that someone's going to come up with a way to apply for this online para hindi na natin masyadong para mabawasan natin yung risk ng COVID infection. Diba? Do everything online. So, check that out in the coming weeks. Hi, Gia. Thanks for watching. Rick. As a Ken, Rick pala yan. Okay. So, I hope that helps you, no? Na when you watch certain presentations, be open, try to focus and you'll be surprised that you will meet people pala with such humble beginnings went into the world of computers connected it to the real estate industry you don't have to do the exact same route but just, you simply need to connect with those people and then join the larger group okay so i look forward to seeing you in the different countries in the future when air travel is freer and travel restrictions are eased because it's one of the number one incentives in the world of real estate, particularly in the group of Anthony Luterio, sa Luterio Realty, sa Filipino Homes. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for joining us. Until the next time, ako po si Manny Villoria ng Swamazing.com na nagsasabing, invest in yourself before others will invest in you. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. Hi Gia, thanks for watching. For those who just joined recently, the replay will be available in about 15 minutes. Bye.